PennDOT launches a poll to get your help in picking the color and some design elements of the replacement commercial street bridge. Yeah, and if you're wondering, where's that bridge? It is the bridge <laughs> over Frick Park just outside the Squirrel Hill Tunnel. So when does the work start and what exactly does it involve? New this morning, John Shumway is getting some answers and you also have some fascinating video that you're going to show us. Yeah, you're going to see what they're going to be doing and we're talking about a very old bridge that 100,000 folks a day drive across. What gets everybody's attention about this whole project, though? They're going to close the Parkway East for three weeks. But that comes at the end of the project. There's a lot to do first. Built in 1950 and rehabbed 16 years ago, it's time to replace the 863-foot span that carries 100,000 drivers a day. Uh, it's definitely going to be a Herculean task uh, for the contractor and the designers. The new bridge will be built alongside the existing bridge. Now the project's anticipated to be let in 2024, and right now, based upon the fabrication lead times that our team has assessed, we would anticipate that lateral slide occurring in the calendar year of 2026. That slide he's talking about is literal. When the new bridge is done... The existing Commercial Street Bridge uh, will be removed by both conventional and uh, demolition uh, activities using explos explosives. And uh, we plan to just slide uh, the new structure into place. Now that slide cannot be done overnight or even on a long weekend. What we plan to do over a full uh, three-week closure, anticipated three-week full closure of the Parkway East, is slide the proposed structure onto the proposed substructure units on the existing alignment of I-376. And unlike the parkway closure for the Greenfield Bridge that happened over the holidays in December. Right now we're um, aiming for July of 2026 to perform that full three week closure of the parkway east. So you might want to take a long vacation in July of 2026. The work actually starts next year. They will relocate Commercial Street and the walking trails that go underneath the bridge so those can continue to be used during the construction. And if all goes as planned, we're driving on that new bridge by August in three years, 2026. What's so interesting is how they're going to make this all happen, John. Right. I mean, they're talking about building it and just sort of sliding it in place like a Lego piece. Yeah, they make it sound really <laughs> easy, don't they? But they've actually proved it can be done, and it's done all over the world. We've done it twice here in western Pennsylvania before. One was a very small bridge on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. The other was just on the other side of Mount Washington. Those were relatively small bridges. This is a monster bridge. 825 feet is the actual structure. It is going to be fascinating to watch them build it and then slide it in. I imagine our sky too is going to capture it <laughs> you for think? us too, right? <laughs> yes, so we will be flying above. Absolutely. All right, and three weeks. Three week oh. closure. What did you say? Three week closure three in week, 2026. Yeah, three week. All right. All right. We'll let future David and John and Lindsay worry about that. All right. Thanks, John.